Hey everybody, welcome to another Sniffle Valve tutorial. Today is going to be a really short one on uh, Elementor. And it's going to be about adjusting the column gap. Uh, this question came up on the Elementor uh, Facebook group a little while ago, so I thought I'd show a quick video on how to set that up. So let's go back to the dashboard and to pages. And we're going to go into uh, the home page. So the first thing we need to do is to get us a section going. And we're going to use a three column one. Then with that section selected, first thing we want to do is look over here to the column gap. We want to go from the default to wide for this. And just so we can see what's going on, Let's uh, put a background color in this green and we'll lighten it up a little bit. Okay, and we'll just save that. So here we have three columns, 33% columns. So let's go and uh, select the first column. And just so we can see what's going on, I'm going to add a spacer to each one. Uh, the reason I'm adding a spacer and not text is so that the text or heading or what have you uh, doesn't get in the way of showing uh, what's happening. Okay, so with something in each one, uh, we can go set some styles. And you have to have content uh, within a column uh, before you can see what's going on. So we're going to change the uh, background color to the first one. Oh, I don't know. Say this green. And this one. Oh, let's see. What's a good color? Oh, how about the sniffle wild blue? And then this one will give it the um, sniffle valve yellow. Okay, so here we have our three columns. And we want to get a gap between them. And a lot of people will go and mess around until the cows come home. But unless you've set the column gap here, uh, what we're going to do next won't take effect. So we'll just come back to the column. Go to Advanced. Now, for this, uh, initially, I'm going to leave them linked uh, just so we get a, a margin all the way around. So uh, let me just crank that up to 10. For that one uh, so you can see what's happening now right we are oop, wrong way let's go up to 10 and then same on this one make sure you click on the top one oop, one more overshot okay and there we have our three columns but you say well I want to get the gap equal so that's easy. Go back to this column, unlink the margins, and uh, set this one to zero. And then we'll come to this one, unlink it, set the right one to zero. And there you have it. Three 33% columns equally spaced, and that's how you get your gap in between the columns. Now, of course, if you didn't want the top and bottom, well, you know how to adjust those, right? And come back here and say you don't want the top margin. Oop, went too far. And that sort of thing, you can do the same with the bottom. All right, we'll just wind them down. And that sort of thing. But uh, that's it in a nutshell. And uh, we hope that that helps clear up uh, the uh, matter of uh, getting a gap between your columns. Remember, you have to set the section to have a column gap other than the default. Okay, well, thanks a lot for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also on Sniffle Valve.